This is video four of uh, modeling this simple broom for Blender Challenge one. And uh, we're done the modeling. And now we're into the texturing and the lighting. And this could potentially take a long time. It could be very complicated. And so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do it relatively quickly and simply uh, and try to get you know kind of close to this uh, image. I may use the same wood instead of different woods on here. My wood may not be exactly the same and the same goes for uh, this stuff here. Uh, I think there's a good chance that there's some painting going on in here, some, some additional texturing. And so I'm not going to be able to achieve this exact result. And I see from the submissions on the Discord server or email to me uh, for the challenge that a lot of people have uh, gone their own way with the texturing as well. So I'll try to sort of stick, you know, close to the theme, uh, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be all that similar. All right, so um, here we go. Um, I think what I'll do is I'm going to start with the walls. And uh, in order to do this, I'm just going to use uh, images, downloadable free uh, textures from the internet. All right. So um, the way we're going to do this is, first of all, let's go over to the UV editing window up here. And if I was to select my walls, you'll see that I've already got it UV unwrapped here. Um, and that's 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 fine. Uh, we're gonna try try with that and see how how it goes. So this was done automatically by Blender as I created these, um, which is a nice a nice feature. Um, what we really want to do is switch over to the shading tab and be in Look Dev, which is the second option right here. Okay, so I'll select my walls, and I've got the basic material on here and it's on everything and I don't want my wood on everything so I'm going to create a new material down here use nodes I'm just going to create a new material new and I'm going to call this um, I think I just said wood <laughs> I'm going to call this wall all right so this one will have the basic material this one will have the wall material here and what I want to do is I want to bring in an image texture that I can use on the wall in this, the node editor. Let's so make sure that over here we're set on object. The object will be the wall. And I'll have the default principal shader here in the material output. Okay, so all I'm going to do is go Shift A, texture, image texture. And I'm going to open up. the texture that I want to use so these are all um, free textures uh, I believe they're all available on cgtextures.com there's a few different uh, places for free textures and you want to try and get one that's relatively large the one I'm going to use is not as large as I would have liked it uh, so if I zoom in very closely it won't be all that you know sharp but I'm going to go ahead and, and try this so I'm going to choose concrete wall now that's not what it's called on cgtextures.com. You just search for concrete and, and find one that you like. I'm gonna open and I'm just gonna go ahead right now. I'll just connect, connect the color to the base color. And what we'll do is come in here and click assign. And you can see that that's on there. It doesn't look very good yet. Okay, so there's a few things that, that we're gonna have to do. Um, I might actually do this separately now that I think about it. Um, I think probably the best thing to do is to select all of the faces of the wall. And I'm going to go U, unwrap, I'll try that. That's looking a little better, but I feel like it's upside down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to UV editing. And you can see I've got a concrete image and I can see my... Uh, faces selected but they look upside down so I'm just gonna go R180 and then I'm going to look this is my 3d viewport over here but I don't see that so I'm gonna come over here and switch to look dev 
and deselect and have a look at that. Okay, so I've got that on my back wall. This one doesn't look right now, so I'm going to select these faces. And I can see them down here. And I think, let's see, I'm going to try rotating them. Oh, well, let's do that again. It looks like the grungy part is off to the left side, so I'm going to select those. I'm going to say rotate 90 minus. And I got that there. Hmm. I might want to, if I press G and to grab and move, I could do this. Let's see if that looks okay, just so that the dirt is a little bit more similar to the bottom. Okay. I might even want to scale this. It looks like the dots, see, it, it applied the first texture over a longer area. The dots are a bit smaller. So what I might do here is looking at this with my cursor over here. If I try just S, they get smaller. If I do this and then G and pull it up. And you can position it, which is a nice thing. I might go for something like that. See if that's a bit better. And let's go for this wall over here. So there it is there. Rotate 90 minus G. Bring it down. Maybe scale it. There we go. Let's go back to layout. And have a look here. Now, another thing that I can do, I'll go back to UV editing. I can move this to another position if I prefer it. Here, let's bring it down a bit. There, I think I like it there. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty much it for, uh, for that part there. Okay, what I'd like to do now is make it look a little bumpier, a little bit more, not like a, as much of a flat surface. So I'm going to sort of simulate bump uh, by sort of cheating. So I'm going to take this, this node here. I'm going to go Shift D and copy it down here. And then shift a vector bump. And I'm going to plug the color into the height and the normal into the normal. And already you can see it looks a lot bumpier, right? So what I'll do is I'm going to switch this to 0 0.2. Try that. And then just a little bit so it's in there, maybe. We can try different values of this. Okay, to give it a little bit more a little bit more texture. And I'll probably leave it at that for the time being. Then we'll move on to uh, looking at the floor. So the floor is this one piece here. Alright, I'm gonna make a new material here. We we'll call it floor. Shift A, image texture. I'm going to try this floor here. Again, I just search for like tile floor, plug it in. I may have to go in and assign. And I need to probably UV unwrap this. So I'm going to come into edit mode and just go U. I'm just going to go unwrap. All right, we get something that looks like this. Now, um, let's go to the UV image editor and select the floor. That's just one big plane, and you can see it here. Um, so what I'll do, I can try a couple of different things. 
I can deselect here, select these vertices and just go G, Y and occupy more of the space. And then I get these. Now I can select it. If I scale, those will get bigger. If I go out, it will repeat, which is okay. Another good way of doing this, and then I'm gonna come back to the shading editor and I'm going to try scaling it from here. So I'm going to select this and go Control T. That's with the Node Wrangler enabled. And I'll try this. Three. Okay, it's getting too much. So let's go two. One. I mean, like that. I think I'm going to like that in terms of the sizes. Okay, for this one, I think I'm going to bring the roughness down. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing for the bump. So I'm just going to grab all of this, box select it all, Shift D and copy all of that down. Maybe move it over a little bit. And I'll come in here and I'll do a vector bump. Pull the color into the height, height into the normal, and you can see the bump there. Let's go for 0 0.2, just to have a little bit there. And very soon we're going to start to need some lights in order to see this better. All right. Now, if I go to there, you can you can see bump even a little bit better. And so I think I'm going to.